Hey guys, welcome to the first video for the STEM Smart Home Teaching Kit by Apricot, which is this one. And we are going to create uh, a simple program that can make information output from this screen, which we call a 1602 LCD display. And to power up the whole thing, to run the whole thing, we have an Arduino Nano board, which looks like this. We also are going to put the Arduino Nano board inside this uh, Nano Shield. This helps us to connect all of our devices and our sensors and the input and output devices uh, all uh, within the board. And uh, it's got all the pins to help us do that. We also have uh, the mini USB uh, wire to connect the Arduino Nano to the computer running Windows 10 and M-Block 3 for all the programming purposes. Okay, now without further ado, let's get started. Oh, I'm sorry to say also, we need to get four, uh, this is a female to female jump wire strap, and we are going to take out four colors so we can connect the display to the Arduino Nano board, which is connected to the shield. Okay, so what we need is just pull it off like that. We need a red wire. Remember, it has to be female to female, okay? The reason why it has to be female to female is if you look at the 1602, right? You need to be able to connect this to the pin. And when you connect to the, uh, the shield, it also connects like that. All right, so let's get this done. All right, so we've got red. We want a black. As a habit, we use red for positive, could be 3.3 volt or 5 volt. We use black for negative, that's the ground, the GND. We're also going to use green and, what's the other color? Orange, okay, so we're going to use green and orange, there we go. Right, now, so what we'll do First, let's get the Arduino Nano board out of the styrofoam, and let's put that into the Nano Shield. So, all right, you want this port to be pointing out, and just, okay, hold on just a moment. Let's get that in, yep, fits just fine, no problem. Now, the next part, we want to hook this up to the display. Now, uh, we're gonna hook it up to, let's turn it around, this part here. So where it says five volt, plug the first part into five volt, and plug the black into the negative, i.e. plug it into ground. Oops. Let's put that in again. Oh gosh, yeah, it's, yeah, I just might, uh, I'll just try the other way. Okay, let's see if we can get this in. Okay, good, it's in. Might need to push it a bit to get it through. Uh, there's two pins here, one's called SDA and one's called SCL. I, th I believe they're for transmitting and receiving. Like when you're communicating from this to this, it has to send and receive. So I think that's what that's for. So we're going to use uh, green for SCL. And we're going to use orange for SDA. Okay, so just we'll just get that in. All right, there we go. Now we are ready to connect this to the display. Now these uh, wires are quite long, but uh, shouldn't be a problem to do the connections. Now, if you look at the screen, the display, on the back you have this module and uh, it's got four pins coming out. So just black to ground, that means black to negative. All right, let's try and get that in. Oh, it's a bit... All right. If you find that the wire doesn't fit, just swap it with another one. Okay, let's get the red one. That goes into positive. So that 
that goes into VCC. All right, VCC. Okay. Uh, SDA goes into SDA. SDA to SDA. And last but not least, SCL to SCL. Just follow the labels and connect them accordingly. All right, so we got two wires for the power and two wires for the communication. So that is what, what we have. Okay, now the next part is we've got to get a program uploaded to this board. Right now there's nothing in there and there's no power because we have to either use a battery and hook it up or we use the uh, mini USB cable to plug it up. So we'll give that a try. So we'll just plug this in. There we go. Okay, so that is what it looks like at the moment. Uh, it's just a bright screen. So what we have here is a screen that has powered up and we have a screwdriver and I'm going to show you why we need the screwdriver. Um, right now, if we try to program something to this uh, display, nothing's going to show up because there is something we have to do on the back of the screen. Uh, if you look on the back of the screen, you'll see this part. And if you get a screwdriver, you can turn it. All right? If you can see the black boxes, we've done it correctly. So eventually, those black boxes will become words and we're going to show you the next part with mBlock. So this is mBlock 3 running on Windows 10 and uh, it is connected to my contraption. So just to be sure, I have all the extensions loaded, uh, in particular the TS1302 and the Liquid Crystal I2C, which I need for the uh, display. If I go to boards, I'm using Arduino Nano uh, I also want to make sure that my um, board is connected. So you go connect serial port and then choose the COM port. Okay, and what you do next is uh, this is going to be an Arduino program. Uh, we're going to program the I2C. So just assemble the blocks accordingly. I right, keep it as OX27. We want to be able to display something on the screen. So in the forever loop, we go back to robots and we want this uh, piece of code. Now it's called, um, I think it's print, ah, print row, this one. Okay. Now also, if we right click and upload to Arduino, you'll see the up the Arduino code. So if I take this off, the code disappears. So the more blocks I put on, the more uh, it builds the code on the right hand side for the, uh, for the device. Now, um, once we have that, I'm going to make it wait one second. So let's say the first row. Now I'm just going to type with my keyboard. So let's say, um, so let's say first row, exclamation mark, second row, exclamation mark. All right. And then what we do is once we're ready, we just press the upload button. And again, if you don't have this screen, what you do is you right click on the Arduino program and just go to upload to Arduino and then simply just hit that button. Okay, and you'll see that the Arduino code will be uploading to the nano board. So we just have to wait when it says upload finished and it says it's done. Then what you do is you go down and have a look at your screen. I'm going to just lower the uh, brightness a little bit so you can see. Yep, you can clearly see it says first row and second row. If you take a look at that, oh, got to be quite careful there. All right, can you see? It says first row and second row. Now, if you find that it's really hard to see because the black boxes are very, um, very dark, just toggle it at the bottom using the screwdriver. Okay, can you see that? All right, you've got first row and second row. And if you wanted to, you could just change the words slightly, like say if you wanted to change it to something a bit more exciting. So let's say Mr. Marriott, the king, and just upload. Very simple. All you have to do is just change whatever's in those boxes. And in a few moments, if I just go back down, you'll be able to see 
Right now it's still first row, second row, but in a moment it will change. Now it says Mr. Marriott the King. And there we go. And that's all we have to do. So thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Thank you and goodbye.